half a million Singaporeans visited Japan in 2023. Today, we are going to cover this concept called hot money flows and help to understand what has this a level econs concept called hot money flow got to do with why so many Singaporeans are visiting Japan right now and also in the year 2023. Okay, so first, let's look at the Japanese yen. So the Japanese yen, I last checked, was about one sing dollar in exchange for 113, 114, 115 Japanese yen around this range, right? It's fluctuating a little bit, but it's been more or less around there. Just a few years back when I visited Japan, the Japanese yen was around one sing dollar to 70 yen. So to me, this is like a 40 plus percent discount, right? If I were to visit Japan now compared to visiting Japan before. So I think a lot of Singaporeans feel the same. Do you know why the Japanese yen has depreciated so strongly against currencies like the Singapore dollar? Okay, at the heart of this shift right, is a financial phenomenon that we study in A-level economics called hot money flows. So hot money, right, is funds that are liquid and they're looking for the best returns. Okay, one of the places that they're looking for best returns is in banks. Okay, so banks offer interest rates, right? The higher interest rates, the more attractive for you to put money in these countries' banks, right? Okay, so when interest rates go up, your country's desirability in terms of attracting funds, especially hot money. Hot money is money that don't stay still. Like they go wherever the interest rates, they go wherever the returns keep, right? And in one of those cases will be your interest rates. Interest rates are good and hot money wants to flow from countries with low interest rates to countries with high interest rates. So once you understand that, then um, you need to understand what has been going on in the last couple of years. Hey, what has been going on in the last couple of years is that U.S., has been facing very high inflation. Countries like the US have been facing very high inflation. So the central bank of US called the Federal Reserve actually raised interest rates. Okay, so they raised interest rate all the way from something like 0.25% to somewhere around 5.5%. Okay, so this very sharp rise in interest rate in the US, right, will cause hot money flow to the US. Okay, so because you, it's, in, it's attractive to put money in the US now. Why is it attractive to put money in the US now? Because interest rates in the US are great. Right? So uh, money is going to move from countries with low interest rates to countries like the US where interest rates are fantastically high. Right? So this leads to an increase in demand for the USD. Right? So people will be buying USD so that they can place their money in the US. They want to put their money in US banks so they will increase their demand for the US dollar. This causes the US dollar to appreciate. And if you are a country with low interest rates, then money is moving out from a country. People who ha hold the money in your country, they are selling their currencies. They're selling the currency, they're increasing the supply of this currency in the foreign exchange market, which causes prices to drop. Hey, if you actually notice this relationship already, if your interest rates are high or increasing, then you're going to attract how money inflows, the demand for your currency increase, your currency appreciates. If your country has lower interest rates relative to other, other countries, then supply of your currency will increase because people want to sell your currency. They want to move money out of your country. So they sell your currency, the supply of your currency increase in foreign exchange market, then it causes the currency to depreciate. So what happened in Singapore? Okay, so if you are not really aware, uh, it is a fundamental thing we learn in A-level economics. Singapore is an interest rate taker. So when major global economies like US raises the interest rate, our interest rates move in tandem with countries like US. That's why you are seeing record interest rates in Singapore. So your mortgage rates have gone up, your bank interest rates have gone up. So interest rates across Singapore in all categories have gone up. Interest has gone up, right? Since Singapore interest rates have gone up, and in Japan, guess what has the Japanese economy been doing, right? Japanese economy for decades, they have been facing deflation. Because they're facing deflation, they're very reluctant to raise interest rates. They have kept interest rates at a low of zero, okay, or close to zero. Keeping interest rate at zero means that money is going to flow out from Japan and into countries like Singapore, right? So money is going to flow out of Japan because they increase the supply of the Japanese yen. Right, if there's increased supply of the Japanese yen, then the Japanese yen will depreciate. Then in Singapore's case, since our interest rates are going up, there will be hot money flows into Singapore, which causes demand for the Sing dollar to increase, causing the Sing dollar to appreciate. So on one end, you have the Japanese yen depreciating. On the other end, you have the Sing dollar appreciating. These two things are moving at the same time, right? So that's why your yen has been depreciating so sharply against the Sing dollar in the last few years, right? And that is why, okay, it has become very cheap, okay, to go on a holiday to Japan, right? Because everything to Singaporeans now is on discount since the Sing dollar has become a lot stronger against the Japanese yen. Okay, this is our A-level economic analysis for the day. 